Hi guys, this current challenge is called Student Mark Sum. In this challenge, we are going to receive an array and it's going to contain integers. The name of the array is going to be marks and it's going to contain the marks of some students in the class. So the goal here is to get the total sum of the marks for male students and the total sum for female students. Now in our function, we are going to receive three parameters. If I scroll down here, they say that the first parameter is going to be a pointer called marks and it's an int pointer because it's going to point to the first elements in the array and we're also going to receive the number of students in the class as another parameter one other parameter that matters is a char parameter so that is going to be a character and it can either be b for boys or g for girls so if the character that we receive for the gender is b then we need to return the sum of the marks for the boys if it's G, then we need to return the sum of the marks for the girls. Now, how do we calculate the sum of the marks by gender? In this challenge, our array is going to be organized. So index 0, 2, 4, and so on. This is going to correspond to the marks of the boys. On the contrary, odd indices in our array, that is index 1, index 3, index 5, and so on, these are going to denote the marks of the girls in the class. So in our function, we simply need to check if the index that we are accessing in the array is odd or even. If it's even, it means it's the mark for a boy. If it's not, then it's a mark for a girl in the class. That's how we can add up all the correct marks and return them based on the parameter that we receive for the gender, which is the char parameter here. So this is my solution here. You can see on the right, we have this function called marks submission. It's going to return an integer and it takes three parameters. So the first one is the pointer marks to the first element in the array. The second one is the number of students. We need that to iterate through our array. And the third one is a char parameter called gender. And this can be B or G. In my implementation, what I do is create two int variables. The first one is boys and the second one is girls. I'm going to use this to store the sum of the marks. So boys is going to store the total sum of the marks for the boys and girls is going to store the total sum of the marks for the girls. Now I'm writing this for loop here from index zero all the way to the end. So if I is less than the number of students and as I'm going through it, I'm using this if statement here to verify if the mark is for a girl or a boy. To verify if I is even, that is the index, if the index is even or odd, it's quite simple. We just need to use the modulus operator. So here I'm saying, if I divided by two gives me a remainder, that means it's an odd number or an odd index, then I want to add that mark, the mark at index I to my girl's value here. Now notice here that I'm not doing something like this. If I modulus two is one. Now I don't need to do that because this in itself will give me either one or zero. Now in programming in general, or even in C, positive values or one are used for true and zeros are used for false. So if this gives me one because it's an odd number, then it means this will evaluate to true and I can add the mark to my girl's value. Otherwise, if this gives me zero because it's an even number, which means when I divide it by two, I don't get any remainder, then it's a mark for a boy and I can add that mark to my boy's value here. So that's a simple check in the for loop. When I'm done, I'm using this ternary operator here to verify if the character used for the gender is B, meaning we need to return the sum for the boys. Then I simply return my boy's value here because at that point, my boy's value is going to correspond to the total sum of the marks for the boys in the class. Otherwise, I'm going to return my girl's value. So I'm checking this. If this is true, I return boys. Otherwise, I return girls. So that's it for the solution. Let me now run this code. We've passed the three sample test cases. So I simply need to run it again by submitting. And we've passed all the test cases. So that's it for this current challenge. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.